Faith Church, hope you are doing well. You have uh, probably heard me talk on many occasions before about how um, sacred a space it is to gather around a table. Um, I've mentioned many times how probably the most important piece of furniture in, in our house is our is our table where for years our family has gathered um, every day. Now it's just down to two of us, but we, Esther and I still, whenever we can, we sit down there and we have a meal together. Um, so much has happened around that table. It's been some, some uh, good conversations, some hard conversations, a lot of formation with our kids and guests. And it's just, uh, I, I've always been intrigued by the sacredness of that space around the table. You know, this Sunday, I want to talk in depth, probably more in depth than I've ever talked uh, with you before about this idea. Um, we're going to use a, a passage from Luke chapter 5, uh, starting, I think, verse 27, where uh, Luke tells us the story of Jesus calling uh, Levi to be his disciple. Levi, sometimes you know, is Matthew. And then how Levi invites Jesus and his friends to... Uh, a feast around a table with a lot of other people that uh, some other religious people didn't think Jesus should be sharing a table with. And um, anyway, we'll explore that story, but it's a beautiful way to enter into this idea of what is it about gathering around a table that is um, not only a place where we meet Christ, not only a place where we meet one another as brothers and sisters in Christ, but also a place where we may be able to most profoundly share Christ with those who don't yet know him. Um, I've intentionally set up a, a table here, the kind of table you might find in any of our houses uh, set for dinner. It's kind of a nice one, maybe got that Valentine's Day theme. Um, but it's a beautiful contrast to the table that's behind me here, the Lord's table. And uh, I think there are a lot more connections than sometimes we realize between what we do on a Sunday morning around the Lord's table when we break bread and what we do or might do around other tables in our homes or in restaurants or in coffee shops or wherever we might meet at ordinary times in ordinary places with one another and with others around tables to break bread. Um, so I want to really think through this with you prayerfully and also invite you into a practice that I think could be transformative for us as a congregation and for many in our community. Um, so really hoping that you will be here Sunday. Um, it'll be a blessing to be together. Um, grateful for you wherever you are today, whatever table you're gathered around, I pray that you would be aware of uh, the love of your Father in heaven and the grace of Christ his Son and the fellowship of the Spirit. Peace.